have to tell you, E.T., we have named you, oh, you guys our are... IT breakout star of the season. Ooh. Have you really? Yes. Like right now? You are to like us just... the breakout star of this season. That's a lot of pressure. I got to go. I'm done. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Not so fast. Because I think Gina Rodriguez is here to stay. Yeah, absolutely. She is so adorable. You have seen her on um, in her guest roles on The Mentalist, Happy Endings, mm -hmm. 10 Things I Hate About You. But finally, the lead role is all hers on Jane the Virgin, and we are all excited. Jane the Virgin, one of the most buzzed about shows of the new fall season. And Gina is really paving the way for Latinas. We had a very meaningful conversation about that. I know, Gina, that you are resolute in your decisions about the type of material you will take on. Yeah. You turned down Lifetime's Devious Mates because of stereotypes. There was a perception I had growing up about myself because of the industry because of media and I want to change that perception for other little girls and boys and Latinos and women mm -hmm. and non-Latinos because when I was freed from that I could fly mm -hmm. and I just wanted to be able to be able to fly our industry is so important on making trends and making us feel a certain way if that veil was taken off the potential we can have and I just I want to be able to do that for other people you know 29-year-old Gina is all about empowering others. That's the main reason she's got that it factor. But first, we got to get into the show and Jane, the pregnant virgin. It's the craziest thing. These pregnancy tests, they keep coming back positive. I accidentally inseminated you. You what? I'm so sorry. So that happens. When you meet her, she has a fiance, she's getting engaged, and then she gets, you know, artificially inseminated by this gorgeous <laughs> hotel mogul. I mean, eh, not too shabby, huh? But it's family friendly romance. It's very family friendly. <laughs> the twisted plot is based on a Venezuelan telenovela. Ugly Betty was also adapted from a telenovela. The reviews, stellar praise. Clearly, Rodriguez is already making an impact on TV, a place where we've often seen Latina stereotyped as feisty, sexy trophy wives or simply as maids. Gina is a role model in the making. You want to do more than wear pretty dresses and play pretend. Yeah, yeah. Elaborate. And money comes and goes, yeah. you know, and I've seen that I grew up very humble beginnings. I learned that at a really young age that it, the money doesn't make me who I am, mm -hmm. that driving nice cars and wearing fancy clothes doesn't make Gina mm -hmm. awesome. Gina can make Gina awesome. Mm -hmm. And there was no importance of ethnicity or weight mm -hmm. or beauty mm -hmm. or is she this, is she tall enough, is she this enough? It was just kind of finding the right person to tell the story. I feel so blessed that they picked me.